You recorded? Yes. I'm JP Sears. I'm ultra spiritual. And I'm going to teach you how to be ultra spiritual today. First, what you need to understand is being ultra spiritual has nothing to do with actually being spiritual, because no one even knows what that actually is. Being ultra spiritual means you look spiritual. So let's get started. Practice competitive spirituality. Silently slash passive aggressively, you're going to want to compare how spiritual other people are to yourself. Judging other people to be less spiritual than you makes you a better person than them. And that's exactly what makes you more spiritual than them. Hey, Kevin. Do you see how unconscious that guy is? Jerk. Claim to be using your intuition when you're actually thinking about things. In fact, you're going to want to announce this to people every chance you get because false intuition isn't true intuition until you get other people to believe that your false claims are actually true. Hey, Deanna, my intuition just told me to give you a call. No, I, I, I didn't see that you had called me. Talk about energy. You're going to want to integrate this into all your conversations. It'll seem meaningless to other people because it is. But don't let that stop you, though. I love energy. I love chi. I love prana. I love life force. I love auras. I love chakras. It's all vibration. Rebel against dogmatic religious terminology by dogmatically using spiritual terminology. You'll want to keep your eyes closed extra tight on this one so that you don't see that you're actually still subscribed to the exact same belief system that you're rebelling against. Because now you're expressing the same concepts just with new words. Jesus loves you. The universe supports you. I'll pray for you. I'll send you white light. God will provide for you. The universe is abundant. It's all about getting into heaven. It's all about getting back to oneness. Hallelujah. Om. Say the word namaste any chance you get. You need to stumble your way through mispronunciations of it and awkwardly using it in social situations where it doesn't actually fit. Namas, namaste, namast, namasti, namasta, namasta, namasti. Hold eye contact for awkward lengths of time. You'll call it intimate. Everyone else will call it intimidating. Deny your pain. If you're going to be ultra spiritual, then you need to believe that being a human being and having these things called human feelings has nothing to do with a spiritual experience. You're breaking up with me? You've been sleeping with my best friend. No, I'm, I'm not hurt. It's all part of the perfection. It's all love. It is what it is. Use an exaggeratedly light tone of voice when you are talking to other ultra-spiritual people. This is kind of like showing your ID to get into a bar. It proves that you belong. It's all love. You just gotta follow your bliss. Do copious amounts of yoga, even though you have no idea why aggressively stretching your body and wearing $100 Lululemon pants relates to your spirituality. Mm, this one's good. I, I feel this one in my spirit. Ah, that's effective. It makes my hamstrings feel like they're tearing, which is helpful because I think um, hamstring is the French word for kundalini, which means this is making my kundalini more muscular. Reclassify all the ways you're irresponsible under the new heading, I'm a free spirit. Aggressively defend your position statement like you're an angel defending getting its wings cut off. A job? I don't have a job. I want to be free, brother. Can I borrow a couple bucks? Seriously, I haven't eaten for like three days. Please, be my abundance, man. In here they say that if you subscribe to JP's YouTube channel, you'll become fully enlightened. So you might want to do that. 